Hallelujah to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who gave us victory over sin, over death. Give him all the glory, give him all honor, give him all adoration. Father, we worship you, Lord, this morning. Thank you, Father, for the price that you paid on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you did it all for us. Father, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your love towards us. Father, we worship you, Lord, this morning. Father, we remember, and Lord, we come before your throne. And Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the price that you paid for us to be redeemed. Thank you, Lord, for the price that you paid, Lord, to have victory over the Father, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We worship your majesty. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah to the King of kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of lords. Father, we worship you, Lord. We bless your name. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 33 to 34 says, who shall lay anything to the church of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercession for us? Hallelujah! We say no we're going to we're going we say no more to condemnation because we have been redeemed christ paid the price in full hallelujah this morning we are going to be praying the father in this service let the power of your resurrection be evident in my life in the mighty name of jesus father let the power of your resurrection be evident in every area of my life Christ died for us. He paid the price in full, not in half. The Lord paid all everything and redeemed you from the cost of the debt. And He gave you life that you should live life in full abundantly. Let's say that yes, there is no more condemnation for me. In service today, Lord, I receive the power of your resurrection. Father, Lord, that the power of your resurrection will be evident in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, in my family, in my business, in my relationship, in my work with you, the power of your resurrection will be evident in my health, concerning my health, in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord bore the pains that you're supposed to bear. He bore it on the cross of Calvary. The Lord has taken away all your sicknesses and your diseases. By his stripes you are healed. Father Lord, we say, oh Lord, that in this service, Lord, we receive the power of your resurrection that needs to be evident in every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, we say no more condemnation. In the name of Jesus, no more affliction. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more loss. In the name of Jesus, no more sickness, no more disease. In the name of Jesus, Father, we say no more condemnation. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for our risen King. Lord, we worship you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this resurrection morning. Thank you, Father, Lord, because we remember that, yes, you died for us on the cross of Calvary. And this morning, we remember that you rose on the resurrection morning. Thank you, Father, Lord, for paying the price. Thank you, Lord, for bearing everything on your shoulders. Thank you, Father, Lord, for fighting for us. Thank you, Lord, for taking the debt, the, the, the key of debt. Thank you, Lord, for giving us victory over debt. Thank you, Lord, for paying the price for our shame. Thank you, Lord, for taking away all our afflictions. Father, we remember 
And Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we honor you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for coming here, becoming man. And Lord, for taking the, making the sacrifice once and for all. Thank you, Father, Lord. Because, Lord, we can call you Father. And Lord, we thank you for the gift of sonship. Father, we do not take this for granted. And Lord, we say, may your name be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we commit the service, Lord, into your hands. We ask, O oh Lord, that your presence will be mighty in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for everyone here that, Lord, they will have divine, unusual encounter with you in the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Almighty God, for we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome your neighbor to your right, to your left. Welcome them to church. Happy Resurrection morning. Happy Easter. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Please, let's give God a big round of applause in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I think what Jesus did on the cross is so powerful, is so mighty that he has saved us from our condemnation, has given us life eternal. If you're a partaker of that life eternal, can you clap your hands and give Jesus all the glory? I think we can do better than that. He's risen. He's no more in the tomb. Clap your hands and celebrate the name of the Lord Jesus. Can we bless value on the resurrection money? Because he's risen. We are alive forevermore. Because he's risen. Sin has no dominion over us. Because he's risen. Our sickness and sin are taken away. Hallelujah. Please can you look at the person to your right and to your, to your left. Smile on them and tell you in case you've forgotten. Jesus is no more in the tomb. He is risen. In case they've forgotten, tell them Jesus is no more in the tomb. He is risen. Hallelujah. And you can have your beautiful seat this morning. Hallelujah. It's the resurrection morning. And one of the things that we saw, one of the things that we saw in the scripture is that when Mary Magdalene and the women they went there to see what they can do to make the body of Jesus Christ so that it doesn't get decayed on time was that they were so surprised. The first surprise was that the stone was rolled away. They were looking for someone to roll it. The stone has been rolled away. The second surprise was that Jesus Christ was no more in the tomb. It's risen. Hallelujah. So the resurrection morning is a morning filled with surprises. Hallelujah. And this morning we'll be taking our Bible reading. And the person to take the Bible reading is also a surprise. Hallelujah. So you might be the one to take the Bible reading. And for you to know that you are the right person to take the Bible reading, just look under your seat. There's a small basket there. If you are the one to take the Bible reading. Please look under your seat. You might be the one to take the Bible reading. There's a small basket there. And if you found that basket, please quickly come to the altar. I think the person has found the basket. Hallelujah. Please, can we make welcome quickly? Are there mama in the house? Mommy Harun, or even as she come to take the Bible reading. Can we clap our hands and give Jesus the glory? Please keep celebrating her. The resurrection morning is filled with surprises. <laughs> Please keep celebrating now. She's still trying to recover from the shock.
Revelation 5, 1 to 10. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Our reading is taken from Revelation 5, 1 to 10. And I read, and I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book and I saw Abby, <laughs> and I saw lying on the open hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll book written within and on the back closed and sealed with seven seals and I saw a strong angel announcing in a loud voice, who is worthy to open this scroll? And who is entitled and deserves and is morally fit to break its seals? And no one in heaven, am I not reading the same thing? It's like this. I'll go to verse, verse 4. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed. To open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood the lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials, full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, verse 10, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Please, can we appreciate mommy? Thank you very much. We shall all reign as priests and as kings forevermore because our Savior is risen, is no more in the grave. Hallelujah. With Jesus joy this morning and in furtherance of this service, can we all rise up as we take the opening hymn as the throne room priest will be leading us.
Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his foes. He arose the victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with the sense to reign. He arose, he arose. He indeed every good thing in our lives that we are dead before now has arisen in Jesus name our this is a time for our seed offering let's look at our reference the Bible is our reference let's see what God says about seed offering I'll be reading from English Standard Version Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 he says do not be deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever one so is that he will also reap hallelujah this is the time for our seed offering and we want to reap bountifully so we need to sow bountifully also what do we use the seed offering for you see these beautiful settings that you and I are enjoying is from our seed offering. It is also what we use in the payment of this rent. We also use the seed offering for other logistics, like payment of salaries, even the church office. Therefore, I encourage any one of us that is led by God to take up the payment of these very rents, either weekly, monthly, or even yearly. Please comfort and meet one or any of the ministers, or you can also go to the foyer and get details on how to go about it. As you do that, the Almighty God will bless us richly in Jesus' name. The ushers will be going around with the baskets. Please drop your offering there. You can also make use of e-transfer. If you want to use the POS, please visit the foyer. And if you're writing a check, please remember to put your details at the back in case there's a need to contact you. Remember also that we have a project at hand, the Global Impact Center. As you do giving to the work of God, Give to the kingdom work. God that owes no man will enrich us beyond our, our widest dream in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as your children are sowing into your kingdom, 
even on this morning of resurrection, we pray that our finances will receive resurrection power in the mighty name of Jesus. You take our finances to that level that we never expected by your grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you for the opportunity to give into your house. And peradventure, there's any one of us that has nothing to give. Before next week, he will be singing in six digits in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' most mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us are happy to be in church this morning? Put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. On Friday, death thought he has mesmerized Jesus. But today is Sunday and Jesus is out already. Can you give God all the praise for what he has done? The power of resurrection. Hallelujah. And in furtherance to this service, I quickly want to call uh, some of us out to testify to the goodness of God. Quickly want to call Sister Faith for her testimony. Please a round of applause for her. I call on Dickness Ido Apejo for her testimony. And I call on Dickness Ola Jumoke Adeni for her testimony. Please, you are to take just a minute to tell us what the Lord has done. God bless you in Jesus' name. Over to you, man. as minister you have to check your phone to be sure of when you be ministering so i opened my phone to check and after checking this was what i found from a sister a friend she said Ekale pastor Ekbadura for me i have suddenly can't find all my traveling documents four standard passports one diplomatic passport my green card my social security card and other very vital documents how it disappeared from my handbag between cambridge and london is a mystery to me i must be on my flights by 6 a.m monday monday i believe the grace and mercy of god will deliver this testimony to me i will share my testimony soon i replied and said yes mommy you will share your testimony on this they are calling you soon to come and collect all your traveling documents in jesus name Mommy, calm down. Be at peace because God is in control. Okay, Servi hallelujah. The service continued. And then after the service, Pastor Monroe preached about nothing is missing. Keep moving. At the time we finished the service, I went, we went to felicitate one of our brothers. And this is what I, I saw. I wrote to her. I said, the Lord sent me to tell you that nothing is missing. Keep moving, trusting God. King Saul's father's axes that were lost were found. And also, he was another king in the process. First Samuel, what was? Remember, you always say, we will never be stranded. I called her name. By the time we got to the function, what I saw was found intact. She found it intact. Hallelujah. So I don't want to go on on that. Because it disappeared mysteriously, but came forth miraculously because pastor said nothing will be missing Amen. we should keep moving two years ago my son um misplaced his um all his documents Second, university school um certificates birth certificates and also the nyc certificates and he said mommy i gave it to you i said the boy returned it to you we argue we argue i took it to the lord in prayers after some time by the grace of god after some months few days before he would need it to travel out for his masters we found this this the, the certificate for this university and others we didn't find the nyc certificate he came 
and went to the NYC and they asked him to go and do a declaration and what that they don't issue it twice. We left it. Yesterday in the house, we just changed home. We are moving the, uh, the, the side stool by his own bed, moving it to my room. You know, something dropped. I just nod. I look back. The, the housekeeper said, Madam, see. I say, What? Brethren. Nothing is missing. This, nothing is missing. Keep moving. moving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who did this? Jesus. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Wow. Hallelujah. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Just a minute. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the salvation of my soul. And I also want to thank him for the idea he gave to us while we were coming to Abuja. He dropped it in our heart and then, because this month, is just confirming to me because pastor said this month is a month where we're going to move forward. So this weekend, by the grace of God, he helped us um, carry out the outreach. The idea was actually to have a foundation and God was able to help us to be able to reach out to about 50 women and in ex by extension their families. I want to thank God because the, least, the things I asked for happened. It gave us a beautiful weather. It made everything happen smoothly because you know what you hear about the north when you're there is like there is always issue with security but I want to thank God for safety and I want to thank God for the privilege to really be a touching hand through his idea and I want to thank him because he gave the vision and he also gave the provision. Praise Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, one more time. Can you shout, nothing is missing? Keep marching forward. Put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus died as the Lamb of God. But today he is risen of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. In Christ alone my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone in solid ground firm through the fiercest drought and storm what heights of love what depths of peace when fears are stilled when striving cease my
cry to find a breath. Jesus commands my. No force, no power. 
power to resist his resurrection no force no power no authority can resist me can resist you from fulfilling your destiny go ahead and pray by the power of resurrection I fulfill my destiny by the power of resurrection I leave by the power of resurrection I succeed by the power of resurrection I break through I break through lift up your voice and pray by onda cabrado jeleske bredoski saya ma ande kefilata somebody is not praying declare it declare it declare it declare it declare it declare it Jesus hallelujah 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 the resurrection is the optimal expression of the power of God demonstration of the power of God Colossians 2 from verse 12 it says bear it with him in baptism wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who had raised him from the dead the operation of God so powerful the resurrection power is not a historical fact it is the power of God instituted into your life to give you unending victory May I speak unto someone here? Your victory over death will be unending. Your victory over death will be unending. Over disease shall be unending. Over sin shall be unending. Oh, somebody is not saying a big amen to that. Say a big amen to that. Say a big amen to that. He died. He rose again. Through this special operation, through this special technology of God and destroyed the power of sin, destroyed the power of death. He destroyed the power of death. Death is an enemy. First Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 26. He says the last enemy that shall be destroyed, even the Bible recognizes that death it's an enemy. That death is a death. The Bible also talks about death being separation from God. That is also the enemy. Lazarus died. And when he was sick, they sent for the master. <laughs> Hey, that's all. That's all. He's sick. And they came back and gave him a message. He said, Don't worry, we'll go and see him. Lazarus is dead. He told the disciple, Lazarus was just only asleep. He did not get there until the fourth day. The fourth day. The fourth day. By this day, the Bible says he's thinking. If you leave a man three days maximum, on the fourth day, the composition is at his highest. He waited until after the third day. Even he himself was in the belly of hell only for three days. But he waited intentionally, deliberately to demonstrate something. So when the after four days, and I remember Martha when they wanted to say just open up the open up just open up the grave say no he's been there for four days he stinketh 
So the fourth day is the day that the composition is beyond repairs. Beyond restoration. Because he wanted to prove something. He said to Martha and Mary, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed in me, oh my God, Rabalanda Kapaleya, Jeleske Bradoski Fiata, Ma Ande Kefilete Sele, Hayendo Kobredoski Salata, Yebredoski Kianda Kapala, He that believed in me, though he were dead, ye shall he live. And whosoever believeth, uh, liveth and believeth in me shall never die. He said, believe it that this is a master who believe. He is the one who is in charge. Oh my God. He proved it um, uh, at that event uh, that truly he was uh, and he is uh, the resurrection and the life. Uh, he called for Lazarus. Lazarus comfort and he who was bound came forth hallelujah hallelujah he has broken the power of death may i say unto you you will not die before your time your children will not die before your time before their time your business will not die because you believe in him in the precious name of Jesus, I uh, may I say unto someone here, uh, probably you've had something that is dead, uh, even your health. Uh, God Almighty is calling it forth. Uh, in the precious name of Jesus, uh, say in the name of Jesus, uh, say in the name of Jesus, uh, say Jesus, uh, I believe in you. You are the resurrection. You are the life. I declare over my life by the same testimony, by the same name. I will not die before my time. Whatsoever it is that looks like death, I command you right now, be destroyed. Go ahead and begin to pray. Somebody's not praying. Ba unde ke fiata, solos ke bredom. I am the resurrection. I am the life. He that believed in me, even though he might look as if he's dead, yeah. Shall he leave? Ah! Bradoski Bredeyan. Death is converted to life by he who has the power of death. Robolondo Kabaleya. Zolonde Kefiati Salan. Lift up your voice and declare over your destiny, over your life. Over your health, over your marriage, over everything that concerns you. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. She says, He that believed in me, though he were dead, he appears to be dead, yet shall he live. No wonder why he said the Lazarus was only sleeping. It can only be converted into sleeping because he's the one who is in charge. I am, not that I have, I am. I embody resurrection and life. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Linda Kabradoski Silati. Now listen very carefully. Perhaps you are here. It looks as if you are alive, but inside, somehow, you are dead. We have many people who are just living corpses, moving around. You know something died. Just a shadow of yourself. Having a form of godliness, the Bible says, but denying the power, the life. Just like life, but you know that you are dead. This morning, life will be restored. Yeah. If you are the one that God is to come and say a very big amen to that. Yeah. Say in the precious name of Jesus. Say in the precious name of Jesus. In the name of of the resurrection and life I receive life go ahead and pray I refuse to die Bradoski Bredeya Balande Kefiati Solondo Kobredoski File go ahead and pray Maande Kefla Ropoloski Kiende Kefile lift up your voice and pray Situations have pummeled you. Life has dealt with you. That it seems as if you don't have life. You are no longer living. But this morning, by the power of resurrection, life is being returned to you. Life is being returned to you. I call you forth in the precious name of Jesus. By the power in the name of the life and resurrection, Celeste Bredoski Sala, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And very quickly. One of the things that the resurrection shows is this. Service has already started, mind you. So just connect. I see the power of God moving in this service in such a way that the power of sin is broken. The power of disease is broken. Of sickness, of infirmity. As you pray these prayers, I see things happening with you. I see things happening in your home. I see things happening in you. I see life coming back again. In the precious name of Jesus. I see the joy of your salvation being returned. In the precious name of Jesus. Someone is living again. In the precious name of Jesus. I see hope, 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 hope. Being conferred on someone again. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now. The resurrection also shows that the perfect sacrifice for sin has been accepted. And that God has accepted Jesus as the perfect sacrifice. Open your Bible to book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 14. 1 Corinthians 15, 14, very quickly. Thank you. So it says, if Christ be not risen then is our preaching in vain and your faith also in vain if Christ be not raised your faith is vain ye are yet ye are still in your sins, your sins have not been forgiven. If Christ has not been raised, then my preaching is useless. This faith is baseless. It is furious. Without basis, it's a waste. 
What am I doing here? If Christ had not risen, if Christ had not risen, what faith do you believe in? It means that your faith is useless. It is, it is deceptive. It is, a, it, it is trumped up. It's not genuine. Counterfeit. Baseless. But because he rose. I said, but because he rose. The power of sin has been completely broken. Because Jesus was received. God received him as a perfect sacrifice. Listen very carefully to someone. The power of sin is broken over your life. Listen. It says, oh death. Where is what? Say, the sting of death is what is sin. It was when sin came, the sting, the sting, death didn't have power, but when sin came, the sting, it has, say the sting of, of, of death is sin. As soon as sin was introduced, everything came down crashing. Death came. Separation from God came. And this was also made manifest in the physical modification. Because that was not God's original plan. Not only that, disease came. Sicknesses came. Satan also had power over mankind. Sin and its consequences all came. God had to deal with the issue of sin and its consequences. And today, you can be reconciled to God and have a relationship with him based on the resurrection. May I say unto someone here, sin shall no longer have dominion over you. I say sin shall no longer have dominion over you. Lift up your voice one more time and say in the precious name of Jesus. Say in the precious name of Jesus. Say in the precious name of Jesus. By the power of resurrection and the life, sin is completely broken over my life. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. I have a relationship with God. I refuse to sin. He said, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? He said, God forbid. I refuse to go on sinning. The power of sin is completely destroyed. I live a life that is blameless. I present my body as a living sacrifice unto God, holy and acceptable unto Him, which is my reasonable service. I refuse to continue to live a life of sin. Ah, Balanda Kapale, sin does not have a compulsive influence on me. Sin does not command me anymore. I am not compelled to sin. I am not forced to sin. The power of sin is broken. I will no longer live in hatred. I will no longer live in jealousy. No sexual immorality. No fornication and adultery. No, no more filthiness. No more uncleanness. No more anger. No more wrath. No more witchcraft. No more jealousy. No more hatred. Go ahead and pray. No more lying. I refuse to be a liar in the precious name of Jesus. No more filthiness. No more covetousness. Lift up your voice and pray. I am free from the grip of sin and its consequences. In the precious name of Jesus. Somebody is not praying. Robolondo Kobalaya. I have power over sickness, over disease, over death, 
over every circumstance oh my god and situation and militating against my life i take authority i take authority over every machination of the enemy in the precious name of jesus go ahead and pray in jesus mighty name hallelujah in jesus mighty name i declare unto someone here that sin shall no longer have dominion over you in the precious name of jesus because you live under grace by the power of resurrection in jesus mighty name if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more they which receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one jesus i reign in life you reign in life i say you reign in life you reign over sickness you reign over disease you reign over demons you reign over witchcraft you reign over wizardry you reign over divination you reign over every strange autumn because of the power of resurrection and life i say you reign i reign i reign with jesus i reign i declare unto you therefore no weapon of the enemy formed against you shall prosper no weapon of the enemy formed against you shall prosper every tongue risen against you in judgment we condemn in the precious name of jesus this is your heritage this shall be your testimony forever let somebody shout a big hallelujah put your hands again together and thank the lord very quickly you might be seated thank you just briefly philippians chapter 3 from verse 4 to 14 but i stay which from verse 4 to 14 you can read it but i start from verse 10. this was paul it says that i might know him this was paul it says that i might know him and the power of resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death have you seen it there if by any means i might attain unto resurrection of the dead as though i already attained either we are already perfect but i follow after that i might apprehend that for which also i'm apprehended of christ so i count myself i count not to have been apprehended thank you my father but this one thing i do forgetting those which things which are behind reaching forth unto those things that are before me so i press i press i press i'm intentional i'm deliberate i'm focused i want to reach even beyond some certain points this is what um thank you this is what paul was saying here so please let's say again some of you said say that i might know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death that i might know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death now listen very carefully this just tells me the strong desire that paul had which was beyond the boundaries of his knowledge of jesus christ at that point so there are many things that are yet unknown so to speak even in christ remember that <coughs> this was saint paul this was the same paul who was caught up in the third heavens and heard many things and saw many things that were unlawful even for disclosure he could not come and say those things because these were things of deep things he had interaction with god he had interaction with christ he was caught up in the third heavens remember that this was the same this was the same this is the same the same paul this was the same paul this was the same paul who jesus appeared unto on the way to damascus acts chapter 9 from verse 3 to 5 jesus appeared unto him and it was jesus that introduced himself to him 
a light shone round about him. The Bible says he fell to the earth, he fell to the ground, and he says, ah, who is this? And Jesus Christ introduced himself. He said, it is me, Jesus, whom we are persecuting. Say, you cannot kick against the pricks. All what you are doing is a waste of time. It's just motion without action. Say, you, it's me, Jesus, whom thou persecuted. So, this was a man whom Jesus introduced himself to. It wasn't someone that introduced Jesus to him. Jesus was the one that introduced himself to him. And we saw what happened three days after. We saw that he went into fasting. He had an encounter that changed his life. And Jesus gave him instruction. He received him and he said, Lord, 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 who art thou, Lord? This was the same Paul. Whom Jesus gave the sacraments to. Directly. For I receive of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, this is my body which is broken for you. In the same manner, he took the cup also. And when he had stopped, he said, This is the new covenant. This in my blood. Paul was not yet born again when this was happening. He was not even there. But he said, I received this from the Lord. So it was Jesus that personally, there was a man that I encountered with Jesus. That Jesus transferred the sacrament, the interaction to him directly. Not only that, this was the same Paul who in a trance in the temple and when Jesus appeared to him in the trance, gave him instruction to go to preach to the Gentiles. He said, see, these people are not going to receive your testimonies. I'm sending you now to the Gentiles. And that was how his ministry began. So he was the one that directed him. Yet, in the book of Philippians, he's still saying that I might know him. I might know him. What is it about him he wanted to know? This was the same Paul that Jesus appeared to in a vision in the prison and told him, he said, see, you have testified of me. Here in Jerusalem, you must go to Rome also to bear witness of all these things. Acts chapter 23 from verse 11. And he's coming to say that I might know him. What was he that he wanted to know about Jesus? You can feel the temple of his desire. Moses said, show me your glory. David said, as their heart panted after the water brooks, so panted my heart for thee, O Lord. People came unto Philip and said, Philip, that we might see Jesus. The disciple said unto him, Show us, teach us. And now Paul also saying, That might know thee. The same Paul who had known him as the Savior. The same Paul who had known him as the Lord. The same Paul who had known him as the master. The same Paul who had known him as the son of God. The same Paul who had known him as a shepherd. The same God Paul who had known Jesus as the one that baptizes with fire and with the Holy Ghost. The same one Paul who had known him in the place of communion with the elements signifying of his body 
Gideon and also of his blood the same Paul who had eaten the flesh of Jesus and drank his blood the same Paul who had known him as a comforter everywhere he went in the prison Jesus was always with him never let him to go the same Paul whom Jesus appeared to many times and encouraged him he had known him as an encourager he had known Jesus as an instructor he has known him as the healer oh my God and the same Paul is saying that I might know him It tells me that there is a relationship that is beyond who he is. The knowledge that is beyond the circumference of your knowing him. Much more than knowing him as Lord. As Savior. Listen very carefully. God is calling us into a place of relationship. Into a realm. That is beyond. Everything that you have known about him. known him as a sanctifier as his righteousness first Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 30 Paul explained he is our righteousness he is our redemption he is our sanctification having known all these what does it mean to know him what was Paul talking about We'll continue this in the second service. If you are here this morning, let's bother us and pray, and you don't know Jesus. As Lord, Savior, you've not accepted him as your Lord and Savior. This is a wonderful moment for the power of not only death here, if death comes to kill you before your time, as we see in the book of Timothy, as Satan does has people whom it deals at his own will, captives. It is there, you can check it yourself. But also the second death, the death unto damnation, unto hell. The one who is resurrection and alive, he has come to secure your life. That you might know him as Lord, as Savior, and many, many other dimensions. And that he himself wants to transport you to a level beyond all these dimensions so if you are here this morning you want to give your life to Jesus and say Pastor T I want you to pray for me I want to submit to his lordship I want to know Jesus Jesus Bible talks about him when he was raised from the dead that there are many infallible proofs they saw him one time 500 people saw him at once Cleopas saw him. The woman saw him. The disciples on the way to Emmaus saw him. One time he was with them. Forty days, not one, two, three days. Forty days in his passion. The way he was discussing with them, just talking about. People still see him today. We have people who have given testimonies in Saudi Arabia, in Iran, in Iraq, all over the world. 
who gave their lives to Christ, not because somebody preached them, but because Christ appeared unto them. And in many meetings, people still see him. People still see him. People still see him. He's alive. Not once, not twice, in many of our meetings, people see Jesus. When the night vigil does this um, Friday, the night vigil, you saw what happened. Power of God will hit someone, someone who had never thought can never enter into a trance. So surprise, boom! And then shouting, and what do you see? Bright, what do you see? I see Jesus. It was too bright. People still see him. You also, this morning, can know him. Let's bow down and pray. So if you're here this morning, I say, Pastor T, I want you to pray for me. You're seated up here. I want to know Jesus personally. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands. I'd like to pray with you. Thank you. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Lift up those hands. Thank you. Just wave, 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 wave. I want to know him upstairs. Lift up your hands very quickly. There's no time. I want to know him. 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 I want you to pray for me. I want to know him. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Thank you. I appreciate you and thank you and I bless you. Hallelujah. Just give me a card quickly. Give me a card here. It's a card here, Osha. Just give them the cards very quickly. Give them the card very quickly. I want to know Jesus. Thank you very much. Now, very quickly, I will see you upstairs. Please just usher them out. Very quick, because of time. Usher them out. Usher them out. Well, people upstairs, I would, like, I would like to meet you too personally. Thank you, church. Don't stop clapping. Don't stop clapping. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we'll continue the message in um, um, second service. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is risen. Praise the Lord. He that the Son has set free is free indeed. Praise the Lord. It is a personal race. Paul said that I may know him. Not that we may, that I may know him. Let us pray for Pastor. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just pray this morning that, Lord, you make him know you the more in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you strengthen him in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, that you refill him afresh in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with him. He has given, he has preached, he has spoken into our conscience. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will refill him in the name of Jesus. He shall be well with him in the name of Jesus. He shall be well with his family. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Special love offering and tithe. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. And this is exactly what is happening. He has, he has gone, he has resurrected today to give us all life, this eternal life that we all enjoy. Praise the Lord. So I want us to go in that power in that part to give unto the Lord today. Your love offering, your free will offering, and even your tithe. There are so many avenues of paying our offering, our tithe in this church. You may decide to write a check. Don't forget to put your phone number and your name at the back or at the reverse, reverse side of the check. You decide to use the POS, please go to the foyer. You can use the POS there. And if you decide to give online banking, you could just enter into your app, and I know that it is there on the screen. Thank you so much. 
for people that have paid their tithe within the week, I will, I will beseech you to come forward so that the pastor can pray along with you. For as many, O oh Lord, that has given, may the Lord replenish your purse in Jesus' name. As we go in the power of resurrection, may the benefit of this resurrection be eminent in our lives in the name of Jesus. We will never lack again in the name of Jesus. Go succeed. Go overtake. Go recover all in Jesus' name. Amen. Tight, tight us, please. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. This is resurrection morning, Easter Sunday, and Jesus himself was the first fruit. The tithe of every generation that are sons of men coming to him through the blessing of our death, his death would become the testimony of his resurrection. Today, dear Lord, we receive the tithe, the tithe giver as the first fruit of this offering of our testimony of resurrection in Jesus' name. And Father, as you have promised, and through the demonstration of who you are by the power of resurrection, oh Lord Jesus, we declare that same life and power to the tithe and the giver this morning in Jesus' name. And therefore, Lord, in the might of that which is the grace of resurrection, I pray for the blessing of the tithe in this household of faith of the throne room of the redeemed Christian Church of God this day. And I pray that prosperity by the appointment of the opening up of the storehouse of heaven shall be the demonstration and the manifestation for your sons and your daughters in Jesus name. By the blessing of the tithe, O oh God, let that which through them connects through family and community raise them up as saviors to bring the interventions to the cry of the people and of nation and generation. I declare them a redemptive seed that Lord you yourself shall raise up because God you give the seed and you give the increase. Therefore, I prophesy, increase in Jesus' name. And by the ordination of that increase, O God, they shall yet return again, not just in giving the tithe, but in bringing the testimony in Jesus' name we pray. So, Lord, as we sanctify and dedicate the tithe, we thank you also for the free will offering. Freely, you have given, they have received, and for the offering they have tendered. We declare that blessing sealed and the sum of grace upon it represented in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord and happy Easter. Thank you. Well, if we're going to clap and celebrate God for the tithe giver, let's do it and make it a real celebration of testimony. Praise the Lord. If you're blessed by that word once again, can we clap our hands and give Jesus the glory? Oh, that's not good enough. Throne room on a resurrection morning. Give Jesus your best because he first gave his best to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Be made conformable unto his death. And I pray that the expression and the blessings that come with resurrection will be our daily experience in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, that amen is not believing. I say in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And just as I've earlier said, I say the resurrection morning is filled with surprises. A lot of surprises. Even the military men guarding the tomb, they were surprised that they could be defeated on that morning. And to the glory of God this morning, also there are still many surprises available. 
And uh, our dear pastor, wish that on a, on a day like this, every one of us, we have gifts to go home with. Maybe some people go with Camaro, some people go with a Bentley. There's a, there's, as in, every one of us just go home with gifts. Hallelujah. But he has given us and also told us about the best gift, which is Jesus Christ. But still some few people will be going home with some gifts this morning. And those people are people that will be able to unravel a puzzle and give us the answer right now. And there's a game here. There, there are four images they are going to be presenting to us. Four images which can be represented with just one singular word. And that word is as associated with Easter. So if you know it, the rule is you are not supposed to echo it. You are not supposed to shout it. All you need to do is just raise up your hand. You come forward, tell us the answer. If you got it right, then we will present you the gift. Hallelujah. And that gift is coming directly from pastor. But unfortunately, please can you clap your hands and give Jesus the glory. It's still Easter morning. And uh, a few people, unfortunately, might not be able to participate. And uh, quickly, let me just quickly read out those people. Firstly, the ministers cannot participate. The media team cannot participate. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, now the media team are trying to prove to us that, yes, they have more, more than just the screen. Glory be to Jesus. So, um, four images with one singular word that can represent the four, and that word is as associated with Easter. And also to make it easier for us, there are two letters that have been given to us. So, if the word is Pastor Tunde, you have the P and the, maybe the U. Just to show that past Sunday, then you complete it. And please, silence in the house. No chorus answer. Just raise up your hand quickly. Please, can we get another mic? If they can tell us the right answer, then they get the gift. Hallelujah. So, are we ready, church? Okay. I say, are we ready? Okay. So, the first question. All right. So, this is the first question. If you know it, the first answer. Okay. Come over. I've seen, I've seen, please, can we clap for her? It's coming quickly, quickly, quickly. It's, still, it's the first hand first. The first hand that we can, rep we can see, you know, first. So, um, so what, it is, what exactly do we have there? Okay, thank you. Passover. Passover. That, is that correct? Uh, church, can we look at it very well again? Okay, now I'm going to choose random because I can see a lot of ants and I'm going to look for one ant that I've never seen before. All right, um, now we found a lady, now a brother. Now, the brother in brown, please come quickly. The last supper, is that correct? Yes, you got it. Please come over and then the first gift come. Quickly, 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 then our pastor presenting to him. Thank you. Please, the cameraman, please, pastor. Pastor, pastor, please, can you just come forward? Let, let him come, let him come. Please, can we have one of the cameramen, please, quickly? All right, thank you very much. The Last Supper, that is the right answer. We can see the bread, we can see the 12, all right, showing the disciples there. After that, the, their feet were washed. And also, at that place is the same place that Judas Iscariot also betrayed Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. Can we clap for him? Now, can we have the next question? Just three questions for this service. If you want more, you stay for second service. Now, this is the, this is the second question. All right, so let me go this way now. The, uh, the brother in white. There's a brother over there in white. Please come, 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 come. Can we clap for him? Please come, come, come. Let's see if we'll be able to get this right. Crucifixion. Crucifixion. Is that correct? Please come over. Yes. We have the second winner. Pastor, please come. Please, can we appreciate him? Please 
Thanks, Pastor. God bless you. Thank you for coming. And now the third, the third question. Some people are revolting. A lady. All right. So we have the third question. A lady this time around. Uh, of course, someone from this role. Now, from here, there's a lady, I think, in, is in purple somewhere there. Please come over. Yes, please come, come, come. Come. Please come. We appreciate her. She comes. Yes. No. Uh, I want to be sure it's a face I've never seen before. Okay, a lady this time around. Okay, a first timer. I'm here for the first time and a first timer. A first timer. Please come. Please can we clap for us? You come over. Sacrifice. That is correct. Pastor, please come over. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Also accompanying Pastor is Auntie D. God bless you. Thank you very much for coming to church. Please can we appreciate her and give Jesus the glory and honor and power. Hallelujah. There is still more to come in the second service. So invite someone and also be present. Maybe it's going to be a Bentley this time around. I don't know. But surely there's a gift somewhere for somebody. Hallelujah. And also to remind us that next week Sunday is a super, super, super Sunday because what is declare is praise. Hallelujah. And the glorious praise after Easter is the best you can ever have. I'm telling you, we're going to praise God like never before. I'm going to have an experience that we've never had before. So please invite someone. I believe we have a few flyers for you to invite someone. Also, please, on your social media platform, your Instagram, your, uh, your WhatsApp, you know, and everywhere, please, on your Facebook Please tell someone is the clay praise. And next week, Sunday, we will be gathered here to give God all the praise. Hallelujah. I'm here this lovely Sunday. It's my second time at the throne room. Glory be to God. We'd like to welcome you, distinguished guests, home at the gallery in the room. You're here for the second time. Glory be to Jesus. Can you rise up on your feet and just wave to Jesus? I'm here for the second time. God bless you. You're welcome. Aha. Uh -huh. Jesus for all our second timers we're super excited in church glory be to Jesus and is our prayer that the power of resurrection and the blessing that comes with a day like this will be yours now and always in Jesus name quickly pick up your bags your Bible all that you hear with our sisters we like to have you and on behalf of the church for the second time church are we happy can we clap and give Jesus the glory and if this morning is your first time here at the throne room, we'd like to celebrate you. No better day than this resurrection morning. And I want to tell you, there are things in your life today by the virtue of the word I've been spoken upon this altar. We resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm here for the first time. Can you rise up on your feet as a celebrity and just wave to Jesus? Glory be to you. You're welcome. Can we welcome them? You're welcome. Hallelujah. Aha. You're welcome. 
Christmas. We are very excited. You are in church. We are very excited that God has spoken to your life. We are very excited that something has shifted somewhere. Please quickly pick up your bags, your Bible, all that you hear with. But just before you go, we'd like to remind you that this is the redeemed Christian Church of God, the throne transcript building where Jesus Christ alone is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Welcome to the Potter's House, where lives are shaped, where destinies are molded, and your life, and your life, and your life, your life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Quickly pick up your bags, your Bible, all that you're here with, and on behalf of our dear pastor and the entire leadership of this house, we'd like to have you as a blessing, Connor. Please quickly pick up everything, our sisters and our brother, we'll be leading here. Church, the loudest clap to the glory of God and give him all the praise. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands again together as we celebrate. How many of you have been blessed in the service today, this morning? Now listen very carefully. God is here. Jesus is here. The Holy Spirit is here. I want to encourage us to invite people. Last week, we promised we were going to invite someone. Don't come to church alone use the power of invitational evangelism to secure the souls all around you your loved ones your neighbors your subordinates your colleagues your superiors your kinsmen your near friends i want us to be intentional jesus is coming very soon and i tell you what People are going through stuff. We have people going through hell and they are going to hell. They are going through hell on earth and also bound to hell the life after. We need to do something about this. We have to depopulate the kingdom of darkness. We have to extend even this message of grace to mankind to all your relationships, your business associates, invite them to church. Many of us last week were very intentional. We said we are going to do it. But please, I want you to assess yourself. Have you done it? God Almighty is giving you this as a responsibility. So next service on Sunday is going to be a wonderful time. Make sure you invite someone. And God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed this morning? I'm not still satisfied with something. Do I tell you what? How many people can guess? Yes, you're right. How did you know it? I don't like the energy and the tone in which we are welcoming first-timers. God is bringing people to us for the first time. Let us show them truly. That we appreciate them not only that let us show by excitement don't just be in church and form this is not a forming church your pastor does not form your pastor five does not form your general vassia does not form mama and the lord does not form we don't form here we are real people we want to connect to people the reason why we are here is because of people praise the name of the lord you can see the choir they're not forming when it was time for them to greet people, they go out and greet people. Nobody is forming here. Because if we form, we might be deformed. And we don't want to be deformed. Remember Vashti, when the king said to her, just simple obedience, she was forming. And at the end of the day, her destiny, everything became deformed. I beg you, please, let's do this for the cause of the gospel. So, Second service, I want excitement from today. Excitement. When God is being ex be ex if you want to pretend, pretend. Later on, it will become part of you. You are rehearsing. We have dress rehearsals, isn't so? And for people, you know, we have mock, mock rehearsals, right? 
huh? they know that it's mock. They are not mocking themselves, <laughs> but they know it's just a mock thing. You understand? It's not the real thing, but they are preparing for the main thing. So let's start doing it. But I know that you are not pretenders. I know you will do it. So second service, Easter Sunday, and henceforth, I want there to be excitement among the workers and church members alike. And after this service, please take some photographs. I, your pastor, I'm going to be there with you briefly. Snap with us and your mama and your leaders. We want to meet you, we want to see you. And God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. After second service, because first service we're having Sunday school. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Is someone blessed this morning? Are you blessed this morning? Now, let's share the grace. I speak to you, go succeed. Go excel. Go obtain. Go know Jesus. Even beyond your knowledge of him, even today in the precious name of Jesus. So it says, grow in grace and also grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray in the precious name of Jesus, the knowledge that will take you even to the center of his heart and know that will make you to be committed to doing his will. Let that be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. So go farewell in the name of Jesus. Uh, farewell in the name of Jesus. I command in Jesus' mighty name that the doors that were closed against you last week, uh, I command those doors that are supposed to be open unto you, the doors of favor, the doors of promotion, the doors of appointment, the doors of life, uh, the doors of hope, uh, the door of profitable transaction, uh, the doors of finances, oh my God, uh, the doors of marriages, uh, the doors of weddings, uh, oh my God, uh, I declare those doors open by the power of resurrection in the precious name of Jesus Christ. And I declare in Jesus' mighty name, let every door of shame be closed against you. Let every door of disappointment be closed against you. Let every door of misfortune be closed against you. Let every door of affliction, of disease, sickness, and death be closed against you. In the precious name of Jesus, go, 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 go. Take dominion. Go take authority. Go express the grace of God. Go live a life that is pleasing unto Jesus. Your lives will never, never, never be the same again. And let somebody say a big amen to that. Let somebody say a big amen to that. Put your hands again together and shout a big hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout a resurrection, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's do the declaration. Life and death are where? And those that love you shall do what? So turn to somebody. Turn to, don't form. Turn to somebody. Look that person face to face. Say, I love you with the love of the Lord. I love you with the resurrection love. In the precious name of Jesus. Say, you are looking beautiful. You are looking handsome. You are looking like Jesus. You are looking like resurrection. Say, you. You will live. You will not die. You will not die spiritually. You will not die physically before your time. You will not die financially. You will not die materially. You will not die matrimonially. You will not die maritally. You will not die emotionally. You will not die psychologically. You will not die educationally. You will not die politically. You will not die internally. And you will not die externally. You, 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 you. And you watching me. You, 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 you. You will leave. To declare the glory of the Lord in this land Zoom meeting, in this land of living, and every eye shall see and give glory to God, and give glory to God, and give glory to God in Jesus' mighty name. What is someone still waiting for? Shout a 
shout of power, shout a shout of joy, shout a shout of resurrection, shout a shout of life, shout! Sunday school begins. <laughs>